Before we start with our newest collection, don't forget to turn on the caption and select English language. This is for a better viewing experience. Thank you very much, Thirsties, and enjoy watching. Welcome back, Thirsties! In this video, I'm going to give my review on my recent favorite K-drama, and it's no other than The Glory, starring the queen herself, Song Hye Kyo. It was released on Netflix last December 30, 2022, and surely exploded in the streaming platform together with the new year. It's only the part one, so it's not too late for you to watch it Thursdays, because part two will be released on March 10, 2023. I'm giving all the reason why you should watch this very controversial Korean series. Plus, the hottest man, or should I say, the hottest opas that surrounds Song Hye Kyo in the series will be tackled here in this video collection. They are Lee Do Yoon, Jung Sung Il, Park Sung Hoon, and Kim Gun Woo. My god, they are so good and hot. Aside from the sizzling bullying and revenge plot of the story, these opas are to watch out for also in the series. So, before we have the glory to start the review, please like this video and comment down below your thoughts regarding the series. Just please make the comment section a safe space for everyone. And subscribe to our channel for more Hottest Men and K-Dramas. Let's start with the story. A high school student dreams of becoming an architect. However, she had to drop out of school after suffering from brutal school violence. Years later, the perpetrator gets married and has a kid. Once the kid is in elementary school, the former victim becomes her homeroom teacher and starts her thorough revenge towards the perpetrators and bystanders of her bullying days. I'm telling you Thursdays, the bullying is extremely brutal. I don't know how can privileged students can do such things. Imagine a flat iron and a hair iron on your skin in different parts of your body. That's so traumatizing. The bullying subject in this series is so intense and will surely go to your nerves. But what's more interesting is of course the revenge plot. The perfectly executed plan of Song Hye Kyo's character as Moon Dong Yoon is something to look forward to. Acting Well, it's a perfect ensemble. Song Hye Kyo's comeback is indeed on fire. She really doesn't disappoint on her projects. The glory once again plays her on the pedestal of Korean dramas. I felt her in this series. As a bullying and revenge storyline, the turbulent emotion and roller coaster ride of her character in pain and anger is well executed by Miss Heikyo. The presence of Lee Do Yoon is also a good addition. I love the innocence and backstory of his character. Plus, his acting never disappoints. We will talk about Doyen more later. Of course, the five bullies slash villains is on another level. I just hate them so much. Kudos to the teenage actors who portrayed their younger roles because they are equally good portraying the bullying scenes. If I'm not on that situation, I don't know what I can do to them. That's how effective they are. And for the adult villains, portrayed by the main villain, Im Ji Yeon, she's so seductive and hot. But she's so getting into my nerves. Her eyes and nuances are very demonic. So perfect. The other four bullies and bystanders are also great actors. Let's move to the hottest man of the series. Starting with our opa, 
Lee Do-yoon. I'm so excited on the turnout of his role in the part 2. He's not just a love interest here. He will surely play a vital role on the revenge of Hei-kyo due to his dark backstory. He's like a bomb that will explode and truly an executioner of our heroine. Let's just all appreciate the very consummate acting of Lee Do-yoon as always. Ever since Hotel the Luna up to 18 again, Sweet Home, Youth of May, and Melancholia, his acting never fails to level up and give the proper emotion. He's really one of the best young actors of this generation. A dramatic actor to be specific. Now we have Jung Sung Il. I'm actually not familiar to him. He's already 42 years old. But all I can say is that he's aging like fine wine. When I first saw him in the series, he's really hot, hot, hot. He's so daddy and husband material. I hope that he will going to have more lead roles in the future. And if you're asking why only now he landed a main role for a K-drama, actually according to my research, he has a lot of supporting roles already. But he mainly focused in his musical acting career. So it means that he's also a great singer and a performer. What a talented lad. And I also find out that in Korea, musical actors are really starting their way from bottom to top. Okay, moving to the very versatile actor, Park Sung Hoon. My goodness, he's so hot here in the glory. Though he's such a bad bully and epitome of bad privileged businessman, I find him really hot. He has a sizzling bad scene with Im ji Yeon in the series. Actually, it's a couch scene inside a luxury store. His body is so perfect there and steamy. Plus, let me just compliment his acting. Sung Hoon is really good on whatever role he was given to. May it's good or bad, but I must say, he's always laying when he play an evil one like in Psychopath and Diary. You should watch those Thursdays to appreciate him more. Last but definitely not the least is Kim Gun Woo. He's so ugly in the glory to be honest. But that ugliness means that he's portraying his role perfectly. He really looks bully and maniac. Plus, the small-headed among them. I just hope that he's still alive. Oops, spoiler alert! Well, that revelation and on what really happened to him will be revealed in part 2 of The Glory. As I was saying, even though he's ugly in the series, Kim Gun Woo is still a handsome and hot opa. Look at this video clip in the background. He's really an opa material too. Sitting here, you opa. That's it. I hope for those who haven't watched the part one of the glory, after watching this video collection, you are now interested to give this series a chance. Don't worry, it's definitely not a waste of time. And it's not too late until the start of part two next month. Disclaimer time! Watch until the end for giveaway! Some videos are not from actual series due to copyright restrictions. Nevertheless, all videos used are under YouTube fair use. Some clips are also edited by other YouTubers. I am not removing their logo on the screen. Please subscribe to their respective channels. Thank you so much, Thursdays! Giveaway alert, Thursdays! This February, one of you have a chance to win 1,000 pesos or 20 USD wherever you are in the world. Just like our videos, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much!